I have been using voltage divider circuits in different projects. Today you will learn the practical use of a voltage divider circuit. You will also learn why we need a voltage divider and then how to use them. But before you can use a voltage divider circuit in any project, first you will need to understand the basics like what is a voltage divider, how to make a voltage divider circuit, how and when to use a voltage divider circuit, when not to use a voltage divider, what is the formula and how to use it in practical circuit designing. Can we use a voltage divider circuit as a permanent supply to power up any load? You will get answers to all of these questions. Watch this tutorial to the very end if you want to master the voltage divider circuit. First let's talk about the basics and then I will show you how to practically use a voltage divider. Let's get started. A voltage divider also known as potential divider is a simple circuit which turns a large voltage into a smaller one. Using just two series resistors and an input voltage, we can create an output voltage that is a friction of the input. Voltage dividers are one of the most fundamental circuits in electronics. By changing the values of the resistors, we can get different voltages. For same resistors, the voltage is equally divided. A voltage divider involves applying a voltage source, let's say we end across a series of two resistors. You may see it drawn a few different ways, but they should always essentially be the same circuit. We can also replace R1 or R2 with a potentiometer or an LGR. Now I will show you how you can practically use a voltage divider in the real world. It's used in a solar tracking project. I have a very detailed tutorial on how to make an Arduino based solar tracker. Let's make a circuit for light sensing. As you can see the LDR and a 10K resistor are connected in series which makes a voltage divider. We get different voltages as the intensity of the light changes. So we will be getting different voltage values when there is a light falling on the LDR and when no light is falling on the LDR. Now the voltage that is coming from the voltage divider is compared with the reference voltage using LM741 OPAM which is used as a voltage comparator in this circuit. The reference voltage is set using a potentiometer which also works as a voltage divider. By rotating a potentiometer we can set different voltages. Now let's take this to a bit complex level from where the real engineering designing starts. When we start studying data sheets, look for desired values, compare those values and then find a specific solution. So after comparing the voltage that is coming from a voltage divider circuit with a reference voltage, the LM741 IC gives output which is approximately equal to the input supply which is 12 volts. The output voltage may be around 10 to 11 volts. Until now everything is fine. Now we want to control a relay with this output voltage but the problem is we cannot connect a relay directly with LM741 IC as it does not provide enough current to energize the relay coil. If you look at the data sheet of the LM741 operational amplifier IC we will come to know that LM741 can provide 25 milliamps which is not enough to energize the relay coil. If we measure the relay coil resistance which is 0.4 to 6 kilo ohms which is equal to 426 ohms as it is a 12 volt SPDT type relay so the voltage is 12 volt then using the ohms law V equals to IR we can find the current I is equal to V by R so I equals to 12 divided by 426 so which is equal to 0 0.028 amps which is equal to 28 milliamps so 28 milliamps needed to energize the relay coil as we can see the current needed for the relay coil is greater than the current that LM741 can supply but thank god we have a transistor which can be used as a switch as we calculate the relay coil current which was 32 milliamps now let's select a transistor that can handle this much current i selected 2 and 2222 npn transistor as it can handle large current than 28 milliamps so best for controlling this relay but wait 
We also cannot use a 2 in 2 2 2 2, two in PN transistor directly with the LM741 because it will damage the 2 in 2 2 2 2, two in PN transistor. If we look at the data sheet of the 2 in 2 2 2 2, two in PN transistor, we can see that the amateur base voltage should not be greater than 6 volts, while the output of the LM741 is greater than even 10 volts. Connecting 10 volts to the base of 2 in 2 2 2 2, two will damage the transistor. Now, this is the time to use a voltage divider circuit to reduce the output voltage of the LM741 enough that can turn on a transistor but never exceeds 6 volts. Now we need to find out the value of R2 that gives a voltage greater than or equal to 1 volt and less than 6 volts. Use this formula to find out the voltage V out equals to R2 into Vn divided by R1 plus R2. V out equals to 11 into 1k divided by 11k. V out equals to 11 divided by 11 is equal to 1 volt. Now the circuit is ready and we can control a relay. Now we can connect a load with this relay or we can use this relay to signal a microcontroller. This circuit can be used with an Arduino. Let me give you Another example of LM317 variable adjustable voltage regulator in which a voltage divider circuit is used to get variable regulated voltage. Watch my tutorial on LM317 voltage regulator for the best understanding. By rotating the potentiometer we can set different voltages. This tutorial explains how to use a voltage divider and how to use the voltage divider formula to find out the desired resistor value. Note. Voltage divider should not be used to supply a power to a load. Any current that the load requires is also going to have to run through R1. The current and voltage across R1 produce power, which is dissipated in the form of heat. If the heat power exceeds the rating of the resistor, usually between 108 watt and 1 watt, the heat begins to become a major problem, potentially melting the poor resistor. If you need to drop down a voltage to use it as a power supply, look into voltage regulators or switching supplies. I hope you liked today's episode. Like and share this video with your friends and don't forget to subscribe so that you never miss anything. See you in next episode and thanks for watching.